Hello everyone and welcome to a new Doom episode. And when I start the game, you will notice oh my god, it's something different. Yes. Because I am awesome. Uh the thing is, um I've tried to play more of Doom 2 the way it did, but the thing is that it's really getting complicated and confusing and frustrating to me, so I stopped recording because I already tried to make an episode yesterday, uh, but it turned out to be shit, poopy, shitty shit. So I just deleted the recording because it was really bad. I didn't even prepare, I didn't even read your uh, questions and stuff. So it was all in all pretty horrible and nothing you want to see. So I saw, I thought, let's close the door, thanks. So I thought, hey, let's record again because uh, I want to make a proper episode because uh, yesterday, I don't know, I was in the mood, I guess, to record, but I didn't have, uh, what, uh, lunch or something like that, what's it called? I don't know, Americans have different uh, eating times, I guess. Uh, lunch is in the middle of the day, I guess, uh, breakfast in the morning, that's, and dinner is in the evening, and I don't know. In Germany, by the way, you eat uh, a warm meal in the middle of the day, so that would be lunch, I guess, right? Uh, who, cares? Hey. who cares, man? Who gives a dick's ass? All right, um, so I'm finally back, I guess. Um, and I have some pretty awesome announcements. Well, let's get it off my chest this time at the beginning, because last time I, th I think it did... Who cares? Uh, okay. So, for the next time, I'm planning to make a... Bah! Holy shit, that scared me. Why is the frame rate lagging? Oh, who cares? I'm trying to make a Panda Developer Commentary Video Series! So, if you are interested and you want to ask me some questions about the Panda game and stuff, uh, I would be... A uh, highly thankful because uh, then I have something to talk about I guess well actually um, when I made the Whoa. I thought I was um, ow. followed by a um, Revenant fireball there all right when I did the gun girl 2 um, developer commentary I didn't make um, I didn't have like a questions thing going on so wow this is really Dragging my frame rate down this map. Holy shit. And I have a pretty good computer. What the balls? That looks awesome. Yeah, I didn't say anything about this map before, but whoa, this is really cool. Holy shit. Give me that. Um, ah, what the balls? Don't scare me like that, game. <laughs> I want to get out. <laughs> I knew this was a switch. Was it? I'm confused. Alright, so yeah, Panda um, developer commentary. I will be alternating videos from now on, I guess. So every um, other video will be about the Panda game and then it will, there will be a Doom episode. So I don't mix up my kind of stuff that I want to talk about because I want to talk about Unloved Game too. Uh, but not in the Panda videos. So I want to keep it a bit separate. So if someone like 10 years from now uh, discovers the panda game and sees like oh my god there's a developer commentary then i assume he doesn't want to know like very old news about some game that's already out in 10 years you know what i mean so i want to keep that separate a bit um valhalla that's my favorite vacation destiny let me take let me go there holy shit this is pretty well well done access can I go to Valhalla now? Ah, that's not Valhalla! Ah, go away! You suck! No! I wanted to be cool, but now I'm scared. Fuck you! Holy shit balls, this is, this is getting serious now. I didn't expect that! That was not in the brochure! I Damn! I died! Well, I died like a hero, without any kind of fear or shit in my pants. <clears throat> At least I hope that's what the report says in the end. Anyways, um, so yeah, I have more questions from you guys, and I'm very thankful for that, because 
You're awesome. So, first question. Melchizedek777 asks if I will... Can I go now? Thanks. If uh, I will finish Unlove 2, what? Or if I will incorporate ideas from that just in the game and just, like, be done with it. And... Um, the thing is, I'm really not that sure. I can imagine... Um, finishing the Unlove 2, but because I have a lot of ideas that cannot be done in the game, or at least not now, because um, the game will be not as scripted uh, because it's more like a random experience that I want to ha ow, to make for the game, uh, for the player. So um, each time you play the game, it's always different and holy shit, don't shoot at me, you son of a dick. Fuck you. Come on! No, 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 no! Shit! You shit fucker! Fuck you and your fucking friends! Fuck you! Fuck you! I will punch the balls out of you! Mm. Die! I shouldn't try to look cool. I'm just not cool. I should accept reality instead of fighting it! Alright. Um, yeah, so um, the game will be not that scary, I guess, because uh, it will be more action-focused, like Doom. Well, if you if you would know what I have in mind, man, goddamn, the game will be awesome, believe me. I have played a lot of games, and I can tell you, this game will be sh the shit. Uh, where do I have to go now? There's some pretty cool uh, effect on this map. Do I have to go back? Hmm. What the balls? No, I don't think I have to go here. No, this doesn't look good, right? Uh, so yeah. Um, next question from Valerie Valance. Uh, first question: Why is the Panda game not on GOG? And the thing is that I have contacted GOG when I was. Of course! That's totally where I wanted to go. Wait, wait. Valhalla? Why didn't it take me to Valhalla? Is this a space shuttle? Come on, take me there. Is this a door? No. Is there a switch somewhere? This looks like it, it might open, but it doesn't. Is there something else I'm missing? Uh, I asked uh, GOG to um, have the Panda game in their um, roster. I don't know how to say that. And they actually answered me and said that, uh, I don't want to say quotes, but this is kind of like a quote what they said. They said like, this game does not fit in our library. And I was like, what? It's a retro style game and your sh fucking website is called Good Old Games, you piece of mother. And then I said, oh yeah, thank you, man. And so that's GOG. Um, next question from Valerie Balance. She has, uh, in fact, three questions and the last one was already answered in the first question, I guess. Second is, will Unloved Game be a commercial release? And if so, what engine am I using? Wait, I first have to figure out where to go. Because this is kind of like, you really don't want to open? No? Okay. Where to go? Wait, so I press the switch over here. And then I have to go he here. Is this a switch? No. This maybe? Come on, this is stupid. Now, this. No. Am I allowed to jump? I can't fit through there. This is stupid. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. Have you already... Do you already know where to go? Am I stupid? And if so, how much? How much stupidity do I possess? Hmm. What is this? I'm stupid. Do you open? No. Do I have to go back? Ah! What the fuck? Eat my shit, you fuck. Holy dick burgers. Well, that was unexpected. Die. You will die the way you were born. Bloody and screaming. <laughs> I don't know where I have this quote from. 
But that sounded ba pretty badass when I heard it, so I re try to remember it. For the day when I have to kill everyone on this planet. What? Alright. Holy shit balls. This map is really cool. Beside my lack of knowing where to go. Oops, no, I didn't want to do that. No, ouch. I know, some people consider it cheating. Some people even consider it cheating when I use... Whoa. Uh, the one barrel at a time method, which uh, Beautiful Doom provides. But honestly, that's not cheating. I mean, I could easily just switch to my normal shotgun and do this. I don't think it does much uh, more damage than the single shotgun, but... Uh, what do I know? So... Did I press this? I guess so. Um, what? What question was I on? Oh yeah, I love commercial. Yes, it will be a commercial release, but it will be a little bit different uh, because I want to do it like uh, Minecraft did um, and have it like when it's in alpha, I will already um, like make it available. At first, maybe for nothing, so it will be like. Um, Totally a free game at first, maybe for the first couple of versions, but then it will be commercially uh, because I have to live from something. I'm sorry, but uh, it's a fucked up world, I know. But you know, you know, you need money kind of to make a living and stuff. Does this open somehow? Looks like it. Um, so yeah, I have to take money for it. Sorry. Uh, but the thing is that um, the way I want to. Um, oh, oh shit. The way I want to release it uh, makes it possible for me to have the community, like, uh, you know, um, be involved in the process of the game, how the game evolves over the time. So when the game releases, um, there will be like forums and stuff like that, uh, and people can like ask me to do this feature or add this stuff. And also, um, this is something new. Uh, I will have a function in the game to create your own character and customize it like in some kind of RPG but not that extremely detailed at least for now um, and if people are interested they can send me a photo or two like one from the fr front and one from the side and I can make you into the game isn't that awesome I've already taken pictures from myself and a friend of mine and we're totally gonna pwn this game from the insides, you know, put your, put ourselves in the game. Uh, that would be awesome. And also, yeah, if you want to be in the game later, uh, you can totally send me your pictures and I will do that! It will be awesome, I think. The next question is if I am looking for a musician and yes, but not actively currently because the game is a pretty early alpha stage so I'm not really but if you are an experienced composer and you want to create some dark evil mo fucker tones uh, with still some action packed beats and stuff then you can totally PM me or email me and stuff next question oh yeah what engine by the way uh, unity unity 3d I am trying to learn like f seven things at once right now like texturing modeling like rigging the model animation uh, programming, I'm trying to learn C-sharp right now, um, like pff, a billion things at the same time. It's kind of uh, using my brain power to the extreme, so I have to like relax a lot, I guess. And I try to play a lot of games like Fallout Vegas and stuff to keep my mind at a peaceful place. God damn it, don't tell me I'm lost again. Am I that stupid? All right, now, this opened and with did I press this? I guess. Can you take me to Valhalla now? No. Does this open? Aha! I knew it! Well, or maybe I just figured it out by pure luck. But I take it! Die! How long is this map? This is quite long, I guess. I think I will make it a two-parter, but who cares. By the way, yeah, this is uh, the reason why I uh, don't uh, name my Doom episodes after the VAT anymore, because I just randomly stop playing it when I feel like it, because there's really no point in continuing a VAT that I don't really enjoy, I think. 
Because I've tried it before, I've tried to play shitty VODs and all the response, well, right, like the majority of response to that was like, Hey, why do you play something that sucks, man? Don't play something that sucks, it's horrible. So I don't do it anymore. Uh, and this is pretty awesome, I must say. It's pretty uh, cool design. I, th I strongly feel reminded of Quake 2 by this, but Quake 2 is an awesome game, I think. So yeah, this is all right. This is quite cool. Quite awesome. And this is leading me to the next question. Oh yeah, by the way, Chris Hates already uh, answered a few questions from you guys, and thanks for that. Um, so yeah, next question. Um, from Nero Kitsune. Die, you horrible spider demon of death, doom, despair. Yeah, totally. Mm, take that, corpse. Totally told him, or what? What's the expression for that? To tell him off? Is that an expression? I don't even know. Die! I will sniper you with my minigun. And also, yeah, and unlock the game. There will be a minigun. You will see. Go down. Can I? What? What is this? I feel kind of lost, kind of confused. Why is the? <laughs> Who cares? Um, yeah, Nirokutsune. Unloved two. Will I implement the ideas to the unloved game? Um, I will. Well, I have already said that. Um, I will make the unloved game um, based on. Well, the the maps will be randomly generated, but they will be generated from pieces of maps that I have designed by hand so it will be not like a computer generated shit where you have to go through and it feels soulless and lifeless and, and like carelessly designed so I will handly handcraft everything uh, in the game so and y for that I will probably use parts of um, Unloved 2 and Unloved well, rooms you know when you enter a room and you feel like ah I've seen that before. Then you've probably found a room that I have taken from Unloved or Unloved 2 to have a little bit of more variety in the rooms in uh, Unloved 2. And that, well, the thing is that in Unloved 2, I will make like themes for maps. So it will be will be something like this. You will start in a house. Well, this house might be in a future update release. Uh, well, maybe not at the start. At the start, it will be just a menu, I guess. But you will start a campaign, and this campaign will take you through several locations. Um, like, there will be, like, a hospital-themed um, kind of location. Then there will be an apartment kind of location, and basements, and more basements, and more basements, and some creepy basements, and more basements. And it will be a horrible disaster of an experience for everyone because the game will punish you hard. It will be a hard game. I will not, you know, I've made the, the mistake. Well, I didn't make a mistake by that. I wanted to have the Panda game to be like available for like younger audiences. Why am I running in circles? I'm stupid. Uh, younger and inexperienced audiences as well. So it's kind of easy, I guess. But Unloved will be hard, man. It will be hard as fuck. And... You will die a lot, and the game will punish you for dying. <laughs> I will punish the shit out of you, but I will also reward you for doing good. So it's kind of even, you know? It's kind of like games used to be back in the day when WoW didn't ruin everything. Yes, I said it. Um, so yeah, and besides that, I will not put too much scares and stuff into Unloved the game because I figure that it will be quite boring to see the same scare for like 10,000 times because you are quite running through the game quite a lot, I guess. Uh, and see like the same locations alternated uh, a lot of times. But, you know, when there's a bathroom with a bathtub and every time you jump, you go there, there's a jump scare and the dude jumps out of the bathtub. It's like the first time it's scary and after that it's just annoying. So I will not even bother putting those scripted scares into that like I did with Unloved. Um, so it will be a kind of different experience, but it will be the same setting. That's why I will uh, call it Unloved. And it will, it will have a lot of uh, things in common with Doom in general, so it will be quite awesome, I think. 
and also I want to tr start making like update videos every week or something like that. So I will keep you updated about the game and I will not like keep it secret like with a panda game like, oh man, believe me, it's gonna be awesome, man. And then in the end, like <laughs> nobody cared about the game. Well, not you, because uh, but you know, in general, like the game didn't really sell well. So <laughs> who cares about secrecy and I eh, don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I don't care about spoilers. If you don't want to have it spoiled, then spoil you. What am I even talking about? Wah! God damn, do you see the frame rate or is this just me? Is this in the recording okay? I hope so, because the frame rate right now is kind of choppy and it's kind of awesome. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, what awful. God damn, why do you have same words, like similar words for totally different things? Like awful and awesome, like it's full of awesomeness, but it lacks awfulness. Do I not even make sense when I talk? I don't even care. What? Don't close on me, door. I was not finished with you, bitch. Eat this, you bitch of deed of dude of uh, you demon bitch. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm talking so much shit, it's kind of like cool to finally uh, back on track, I guess, with a lot of stuff. Because, oh yeah, by the way, if you are wondering with uh, my apartment, with the situation, like if a couple of videos, this is kind of a cool elevator. Uh, whoa. Oh, come on, don't send me back here. I don't want to be back here. No, 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 why? Ugh. Can you send me to Valhalla, please? No, god damn it. Uh, if you're wondering with the apartment situation, um, I was I was kicked out. If you, in case you didn't uh, catch that, I was kicked. I got kicked out of the of this apartment like last year. And does, does this open? No. And um, so in October this year, um, I had my like the. What's this called if you get a paper which says like you're out see you sucker? Uh, I don't know. I got fired from this apartment. I guess I don't know how to say it in English right now I'm sorry for the lack of Englishness, but uh, anyways, um So I called l the landlord like in the end or like in mid-september or something like that when I was um, already finding a new apartment for me to live and I asked landlord like, hey man, is this the right word? Landlord? I don't even care anymore. The dude who rents this apartment to me, like, I, uh, who cares? And I called him and said like, hey man, how about the fucking kicking out uh, subscription? No, what is this? The letter of me being kicked out. And he's like, what are you talking about? That's taken back. And I was like, what? You took it back? Does this open? God damn, this is confusing, man. Maybe it's not confusing for you guys because you can kind of focus on the thing I'm doing, but my brain's just all over the place, so I'm, I can't keep track of where I was and where I have to go now. Can I go here somewhere? What is this shit? Ugh, where do I have to go? Damn it. Damn it! Uh, so I called the landlord and he like, he's like, well, we don't kick you out anymore because you paid all your outstanding debt or whatever it's called. And I was like, what? I have to stay in this shitty apartment? And he was like, yes! So I said, fuck you, I'm, I'm out of here! I, I, what's this called, man? God damn, I can't remember this word. I quit. Or something like that. I don't know. Is this a switch? No. Is this a door? God damn, why does, does everything have to look the same in this map? This is the only thing I have to uh, complain about, I guess. Wait, I was here before, but did it did it take me... No, it take, took me back, right? Yeah, but why would I go there? Alright, let's figure this out. Um, this map doesn't make any sense. Why is this place so, so important? I don't care about this place. Why do I have to go back here? Can I go here? No. Well, screw you! Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so, I said to him, Yeah, I quit myself, you fuckface! I... Well, I said it a little bit more polite. And now, I will be definitely 100% out of this apartment in February next year. 
and I'm kind of I'm really looking forward to that because I've decided to live with a few flatmates that I have never met in my life before. And it's kind of be kind of be lived a little bit of, of it and an adventure, I guess. Because I've never lived with roommates or flatmates or whatever it's called. So this is a new switch that I didn't press before. God damn confusing shit shit. Did I press this? Yes, I guess so. God damn it. Ugh, this is so confusing. Really, this is, this is kind of annoying me that you have to watch me trying to figure out where to go. Do I have to shoot this? No. Well, it was a try. Because, you know, I'm getting annoyed by this shit. Ugh, I don't like this. This is the reason why I quit playing Doom 2 the way it did, because the maps were really confusing at some point, and I was like, God damn, screw this shit. Can't be bothered trying to figure out where to go. Was I here before? I guess so. Damn it. Alright, brain. I need you right now. I know I haven't treated you nice at all, but now is the time where you can make everything up to me. What? This is kind of a cool effect. You know, because in Doom, this doesn't really work that easily. It's kind of like you have to make another separate texture to have this tilted. <sighs> I think. Well, what do I know? I mean, I just made one of the best maps of all time for Doom. Booyah! I'm <laughs> just kidding. I know there's a lot of people saying, like, under off the shit and stuff. and But you can't please everyone, so... Who cares? I like it, so I think, I think that's important. Ugh, damn it! I think I will quit this for now and try to figure out where to go. Last question, by the way, from Mr... The Mr. T Meh! Or Mr. Meh! And it's not really a question, but it's a question. No 3D Gun Girl 2 or whatever 3D Gun Girl. And all I have to say is that in the Unloved game, I will incorporate some of the ideas from Gun Girl. So, and also you will be able to play a girl as well if you like. So, because you can make a character for yourself. And it will be kind of like a little mesh between everything I've done before. And it will be kind of like... Uh, it will be like Doom, so the gameplay will be heavily inspired by Doom, with a cross of uh, like some kind of, um, I don't want to say MMO, because MMOs are in the great majority kind of like trash games, I think, well, maybe they become that, oh, it's kind of like, you know, you can create, like some, okay, this is a good uh, comparison, I guess, a mix of Doom based in a kind of Silent Hill world like the unloved world and imagine like the rpg elements of skyrim basically that's basically what i'm trying to do and with a mix of um like you know the thing is that um in unloved the game you will not have like quests that you complete but you will have like a bajillion of and i don't want to call it achievements because it's not really achievements but it will be Ex exactly like achievements, but they will be repeatedly, uh, you can repeatedly um, accomplish them and gain experience by that, you know? So you get like experience points through an kind of achievement based system and level up your character by doing kind of sh silly stuff like, I don't know, shoot a zombie man in the head 10 times or something like that. I don't care, but it will be awesome. And I will try to figure out where to go, and then I will make a next a next video where I will finish this map. This map is pretty cool, still. Uh, anyway, uh, that was a mouthful, I guess. Holy shit, I was talking like my ass off in this episode. I'm sorry if I gnawed your ear off with this. Uh, but um, I thank you guys for watching and listening to my relentless rambling for, I don't know, 30 minutes or something like that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please send me more questions if you have. Um, I will start a Panda Game developer commentary soon. So if you have questions about me creating games uh, and the Panda Game in specific, please ask them under this, this video. And in the future, um, if you have questions about the Panda Game, please ask them in the comments of the Panda video. And if you have questions about Doom stuff and Unloved, please answer, uh, ask them in the Unloved, uh, in a Doom video, because I want to keep that separate because I don't want to mix uh, stuff up with the development, because the de de development developer commentary will be something like for the future, like when people 
are interested in the game at some point in time, and I already said that, but who cares? Uh... Alright, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.